District heating captures otherwise wasted heat and uses the surplus rather than fossil fuels to warm homes and offices. Vattenfall is working as part of Bristol City Leap to expand the existing heating network citywide through the use of underground pipes, creating significant benefits for businesses and communities in the area. Dug into trenches beneath the streets, these ordinary-looking black pipes are fueling Bristol's ambition to become one of the UK's most sustainable cities. They're part of a new district heating network distributing low-carbon heating and hot water to businesses and homes. So this is where the process starts? Yeah, that's right. So the harbour water is sucked out uh, from there. At this energy centre on the banks of the floating harbour, powerful pumps circulate huge volumes of water, extracting the heat it contains to feed the district heating system. As what happens is it comes in and it interacts with the refrigerant, the, am the ammonia, and then effectively that process captures the heat and from there it's transferred into the district heating water, which then goes out of these pipes here uh, and effectively is then uh, pipes around the city. So we're now in the position where we're able to offer heat network connections to lots and lots of existing buildings. We've now connected a couple of office buildings, uh, a school, a health centre, a fire station, um, and also quite a bit of existing Bristol City Council uh, owned housing stock, all connected to the heat network. And that's just the start. Over the next five years, more than £200 million is being invested to expand the district heating network into hundreds of buildings and many thousands of homes. Like that one there? Exactly, just like that one there. So we're working here as part of Bristol City Leap, um, which is a really a flagship joint venture structure that has been established between Bristol City Council and Amoresco, with Vattenfall providing all the district heating um, services and, and uh, network build out for the city. Currently, heat, district heat networks provide around 2% of um, UK heating and hot water requirements. Um, the UK government policy is to move that towards near 20% by 2050. Heat accounts for more than a third of UK emissions. It's the single biggest contributor. District heating networks provide the owners of buildings old and new with access to a low carbon future. The Bristol Health Clinic was built in the 1800s, but recently replaced its gas boilers with a connection to the district heating network. In 2019, the hospital uh, made a climate emergency uh, statement uh, where we declared that you know, we believe that there was a climate emergency and we pledged to uh, become a net zero organisation by 2030. So uh, this project represents sort of the start of that journey where we tested connecting up one of our, our buildings to a district heating network um, to sort of test the model and see whether or not it worked for us. Uh, we found that it did work for us, so now we're looking at moving forward those plans to the wider estate to see if we can tackle decarbonisation you know, across a broad range of hospitals rather than just this building. And mindset matters. Why Bristol? Bristol has a really forward-facing, forward-looking outlook in terms of climate change. And the reason that we wanted to work here was because of that level of ambition um, and because of the support that was provided by the politicians and also by the people and the communities um, and the businesses of Bristol to go on that journey with us and to do it in a different way. And what we've done in Bristol really does create a blueprint for how you can bring in a private sector partner to work with the city and its residents to decarbonise the heat. Making sure the transition to a low-carbon future isn't just about costs, but benefits as well. The delivery of social value through what we do is absolutely inherent to who we are as Vattenfall and it's really, really important to us as a company and to all of our people and to the communities we work with. In Bristol, we're looking to generate over £60 million along with Amoresco um, into, the, into the city communities and businesses over the first five years that we're working here. And that's a combination of um, apprenticeships, internships, um, creating new, um, new job opportunities, partnerships with universities, as well as volunteering and, and all sorts of other initiatives to develop the local supply chain. So it's a really, really important part of who we are and what we do. And building on decades of experience across Europe to deliver the low-carbon future cities like Bristol need to make them sustainable.